In this video, we're going to demonstrate the power of Process Runner to point out errors in your Excel worksheet and continue to process data in spite of finding errors. Normally, SAP will stop at an error and not allow you to continue to your data upload until you fix the error. Process Runner will actually point out your errors to you line by line and will continue to upload data that is correct. Let me, let me point this out to you. Here I have an Excel spreadsheet. I have an error in line 4 here. There's an X and then in line 18 there's an X uh, behind my material number and then here in column C you'll notice in line 10 my net weight is higher than my gross weight. Line 14 my net weight is higher than my gross weight. I also have uh, two blank lines here. I'm going to show you the process runner will will allow you to upload data in spite of blank lines. And then here in line 32, I also have an X behind my material number. So let's go ahead and bring up Process Runner. I'm going to create a new tab. This will be uh, Transaction MM02, Change Data. Go ahead and start the recording. Put in my SAP uh, user ID and password. Go ahead and click OK. And we're going to start the recording of the SAP views in Process Runner. So my first material is 100-01. Go ahead and enter that. I'm going to bring up my basic data view where I need to change the gross weight and the net weight. Let's go ahead and change that to 20 and 10. Okay, so Process Runner has recorded these views in SAP. And so now I'm going to link it to the Excel data file that I'm in. That was a change materials with errors. Okay, and I need to make sure that I'm connecting it with uh, Sheet 1. Okay. All right, now let's just make sure that I, I mapped my columns correctly. We have material number in column A, and we have corrected gross weight, should be column B, right there, and then we have our net weight, column C. So our mapping looks good. And let's go ahead and now we're going to run Process Runner. Now there's a few things that I could do here. If I don't want to, if I don't want to run all of the data with the normal upload, I can do a test run first. So let's go ahead and change this end row to 50. Make sure we cover all of the rows. So I can do a test run first. Go ahead and enter my password again. Okay, now this is a test run. Now I could uh, I could do either a test run or I could just do a normal data upload. So I'm just going to show you right here what happens with the test run. You can see here that it points out that uh, this material does not exist or is not activated. That's material 100-102. Material 100-110 has the X after it. So I've actually found that I actually have created a, uh, a material that doesn't exist. So let's say I send the Excel spreadsheet uh, back to the foreman and he points out, okay, well that really should have been uh, 100 and this uh, this should have been uh, 101. Okay. Now I can go ahead and, and go through and correct this now, but I'm just going to show you that, that in the uploading the data, the process runner will also point out the data. So I'm just going to go ahead and and leave this alone go back into my process runner. I've done the test run. Now I'm going to do, and I could fix the data. Like I said, I could fix the data before I do an actual run. But I'm also going to show you what happens if I just do the do the run. So I'm going to go ahead and start at row 2 through 50. Go ahead and run this. Okay, and here here's an actual run of the data. This is no longer a test run. Okay, so you can see that no changes were made to 100, 100, and I'll show you why. 
But first, let's get into the errors. Okay, so material 100, that was changed. That's, that's fine. And this material 100, 110X does not exist or is not activated. Okay, so I know that I should fix that. You know, just to make this a little easier to view, I'm going to go ahead and delete these columns so we get those out of the way. Let's get rid of those columns. That was just our test run. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and fix these errors, and then we're gonna run we're gonna run process runner again. You know, and it turns out that this should have been 107. This should have been 100. So, for whatever reason, our, our whoever entered our data accidentally reversed the columns. Okay, let's go down here to line 18. You'll notice that Process Runner uh, went ahead and processed the data in spite of the lines uh, being blank. So if it ever sees blank lines, it just skips and continues to run. And we have one more upload to correct here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rerun this data. Now what I could do if I had, let's say, thousands and thousands of lines of data, I could tell Process Runner just to just to change the individual lines, or I could change uh, just a group of lines. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's focus on uh, four through eighteen. So you can see that I just make the change there. I go ahead and I hit run. Okay, and now what's happening? This process runner is rerunning the lines and the, the no changes made is because process runner previously made those changes. So that's why we saw the no changes made here and we see the no changes made here because that data is already what we want. And you can see here that process runner has now uh, changed this one where the error was at, this one as well where the error was at, and this one. All right, and we only ran lines uh, 4 through 18, correct? But we still had that that line down here. So we just want to uh, correct this line now. So we, of course we could have ran them all, but to save time with thousands of lines of data, you might not want to rerun all the all of the lines. So we just focused on the lines where the error is where we had made the change. So let's go ahead and finish uh, this last one in Process Runner. So we just need to 32 and row 32 and we'll go ahead and run that and there we go we've uh, fixed all of our errors utilizing process runner and again I just want to point out that where SAP may stop you as soon as it encounters an error process runner will actually just skip over the error process all of the proper data and then allow you to go back in and fix your errors uh, just on the individual lines or, or groups of lines.